Yeah, share my screen just with me once you can see it. Can you see my screen, guys? Hello? Yes, Bindu, yeah. Yeah, it is really good. Okay, yeah, thank you. So as I was saying, if you don't mention the proper, these prop values, like prop variables in this argument, you're gonna get an error even in your console. I mean, in, the, in your terminal as well as in your browser. See, so in order to avoid that error, you have to mention that prop value, prop uh, variable name in this uh, parenthesis, then only you will be able to access the props values in your functional component. But while as in the class component, you need not to mention that type of thing. You just have to call the props value this dot props dot your name of the property. If you want to call the all the props, you just have to put this dot props. So that is like uh, what about the props in the class components and the functional components? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Not clear, clear. Okay. So the next concept is like default props. So if you default props is like uh, the default value. Yeah, default props is like the default value that you want to put for the any of the props while you are calling the components, then you'll use this uh, default props. So the syntax for the default props is like the component name and the default props is the keyword that you have to use and the property name and the property value. So this is the syntax for that. And, and this is the example that I'm, that I'll show you. Like app is again, the property like component name and the default props is the keyword that you have to use the same thing. And name over here is the property name and the Java T point or something, anything that it's like a property value. So again, like making this clear, to make this clear, default props is like whenever you want to call some component and you can you can send, you can make the default props to any, any of the props like without sending value. Anytime you call this component, this value should be so, so and so. In order to assign that uh, value to the prop, these default props will be useful. So you'll get more idea when you try this example or I'll try, I'll just try it out this example so that you'll get an idea of it. So whoever done with their environment setup, please try this example. And I'm just putting the, putting this example in the chat. So yeah, uh, here uh, I'm just calling the class component from the app.js. And I'm not sending any of the props. You can send, but uh, right now I'm just uh, want to make sure what is the functionality of the default props. So what I'm doing is like, I'm just calling the class component. I'm just not sending any of the props while I'm calling the class component. And inside the class component, uh, just put this syntax. outside the class. So he, again, I, as I told, this is the component name. This is the class component and this is the class component name. And the default prop should be the, uh, like default prop should be the keyword that should be default props. You can't change that. And here, this is the property name and this is the property value. So over here, I'm not calling any of the class component over here. So I'm just uh, removing this console log also to check whether the class component is being called or not. Just let's check. So yeah, the class component is being called and there are no consoles and there are no alerts. So I have defaulted. So whoever calls, uh, the meaning of this thing is like, whoever calls me, 
calls me in the sense whoever calls my component for example class component they then the name should be the default prop even they are calling me or even even they are sending me the props or not like for example in the app.js i'm not sending any props to my class component but if i just put a console or an alert let me put a console props this dot props so this dot props is the way like that is the way to uh, use the properties in the class like props in the class component so i'm just checking whether i have any properties for this uh, class component or not i'm just refreshing the page the browser so if you can see you got name as props example even i didn't call if even i didn't send any props from the app.js see here i didn't send any props to class component but still in the console you can see name props example because uh, because we have made this name like the name property name or like anything as a default so even somebody call this component with props or without props the default value the default value would be this thing even if you call the component so right now i'm calling the class component it's some other thing name one equal to some dummy text or some string anything so i'm calling the class component name one and we have a name as a default prop so let's see let's see what will happen <laughs> so if you can see the console we got the both the props so if you take some there will be some real world examples like you have to set some value even you are sending the values to other component or not you have to make sure some of the value should be something so in that scenario what you will do you will just uh, pre, like you will define this value should be this thing even they are not sending the prop so over here i made name Of like name as a props example, even if you call the class component with the name property or without name property, this name property will be the this name property will be the default prop if you are not calling the component with any of the prop. And if you are calling the prop, I have not done that. I have not done that. Hey Karthik, uh, please keep yourself on mute. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. So, if you are calling the uh, component with other props other than the name, that props will be added as extra props for this name value. But if you are not calling the, if you are calling the component with zero props, and then name will be the only prop. And if you are calling the other props, uh, like other props other than the name, those will be the extra props. So that is the reason you are seeing over here. Like uh, initially, you saw only name. because you are not calling the class component with other props but uh, in the other example i have added name one also so you are seeing name and the name one as the props for this class component so right now you are seeing two comp two props one like i'm calling the i'm calling the class component with the name one as a one of the prop and default prop we have other name so we have two props for this class component that is the reason you are seeing the two props when i Printed the values in the console. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. So I'll just give a brief about this again. So like default props is like whenever you want you just want to make any value default, even they don't send the values for that prop, then you're gonna use this default props. So uh, if for uh, somebody like uh, if for example if app is calling class component with zero props then this name will be the default prop for that app whenever app calling the class component with zero uh, zero props then name will be the like default prop for this class component and if again app is if suppose app is calling the class component with more props then this will be the default prop again and the other props will be added as props to the class component this value won't change 
this value will change only in one condition that i'll tell you later but right now even if you're calling the class component with or without props this value will be there okay that is about the default props okay. in the class yeah thank you uh, about the class component and in this uh, functional component i'm going to show you this one as well like it's uh, more or less the same thing you'll have the same syntax you'll have the same syntax uh, component class name and the default props is the keyword you have to use the default props only you can't change that this thing will be changed based on this uh, first thing will be changed based on your class component name and again this is like name and the props uh, props example as i already mentioned you can have a number of property values even in the default props and there is no restriction for the name of the property name and if there is no restriction for the data types of the property values so right now i have done this and i'm just made name as a default prop for the functional component and i will call the functional component in place of class component now So now I'm calling the functional component from the app with zero props. So um, I have uh, already added a console log in my props, uh, like in my functional component. So, uh, so let's see like what uh, we are supposed to get name as a default prop when I print this. Let me check it out. We got the functional component over here and in the props also in the console, we see one prop which has name and which it has a value. So, and if, if we call the functional component, some other props and we can have number of props even here as well. So we have, three props over here i'm calling so it should be a string so i'm just going to put them in quotes so we have three properties over here i'm calling the function component with the three properties and then we have a default prop over here with the name of name so when i'm printing the props in my console i'm supposed to see four props like prop name one name two name three and the name so let's see yeah we got name one name name one name two name three so this is the default prop name will be the default prop. even if you call the that so and so component with props or without props that component will be the default one that won't be changed okay so even if you remove the component uh, properties of that component name will be there if you are even if you add the other components also then also name will be there so that is a default prop in any condition that won't change that value should be there. So even in the default props, you can have number of props. There is no condition like you should have only one thing. So I'm gonna have uh, name four and I'm gonna put some number this time and it's calling me because it's an object. It would definitely expect a comma over here. So right now I made two properties as a default props. So I'm sending three properties over here. So over here, one, two, three and here, line the two so total five properties i should be seeing when i print that on the console i'm just refreshing that see one two three four five yeah see so name one and name four are the default props there is no matter these two can, can change whenever you are not sending any props also you will be seeing name one and name four if you are sending any props then these properties will be added to the to the default props and then there can be number of default props in your like you can have number of things there is no restriction like you have to have one two nothing like that you have number of uh, you can have number of key value pairs or properties in the default props and 
as the same like the same rule applies for this over here like whenever you're calling functional component also there is no restriction for the number of properties there is no restriction for the names of the properties and there is no restriction for the data types of the property values and the same three rules will be applicable over here also there is no restrictions for the number of default props and there is no restriction for the property names and there is no restriction for the property data like property value data types so the same thing will be applicable over here when you're calling the component and over here when you're put in like uh, declaring some of the properties in the default props. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, one second. Give me, give me one second, please. Okay, so default props is like those, the, the properties that you're declaring inside the default props will be like our default things that even if you're calling the component with properties or without properties, those values will be there. And there is like, there are, if you add some extra properties, like whenever you're calling the properties, then those properties will be added to the default props. That means uh, there is no scenario like if you are calling if you are calling the component with some values, so these values will be removed. There is no scenario like that. There is only one scenario like if the property name inside the default props and the calling over here. If you are calling the same property name, then there will be a variation. So that would be our next example. So if the property name in this functional component in the default props matches. Then, uh, then there will be some condition. So which one will take the priority? So that would be our ex other example. But right now, if you have some two or three properties over here, that properties will be the properties which are in the default props will be the default props. Those values won't change even if you call the component with or without props. So is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. So the last example for today, like that is like default props and normal props with the same name. So that is what I'm saying. So if we call the component with the same name, like the call, if we call the component with the same name that is in the default prop. So which one will take will take the priority? Whether the property in the functional component or class component will get the value from default props or in the class component. That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm clearing these things. And I'll show it to you using class component. So yeah, in the class component. So we have a default prop in the class component called name. So I'm gonna add the same thing over here also. Putting class component prop. So I'm calling the class component with the name, uh, like uh, with the property name. And even the class component, we have a default value name. So which one will take the priority? We'll just check it out. And in the class component, we have a console. So in that console, we can check what value is taking. Yeah, we got the class component props. The class component props is this one. So the main thing about the default props is like, if you have the same, if you have the same property when you're calling the class component, then the class component when you're calling, right, that will take the priority. This will take the priority. But if you are calling the class component without any property called name, then the, this default property 
value will be taken so before like in the before examples we don't have any property called name in the before examples it was different like the property names were different name 1 name 3 name 4 but none of the property matched with this default box so that is the reason we didn't get this confusion but right now i'm calling the class component with the same name like the, with the same property name that is present in the default box so so i'm calling the class component with the same name with the same property name in the default props right so we are calling it like right uh, we are calling it now right so that is the reason one second that is the reason we we are just calling the class component right now so the calling will take the first priority rather than the default props default props will value will be will be taken only when class component doesn't have the doesn't have the value which is present in the default props in the before example as already told you before in the before example there is no property name matching with name right so that is the reason whatever i mentioned in the default props that got that got printed in the console but right now i am calling the class component name because this name is matching with the name in the default props so this thing like whenever you are calling the component with the same name in the default props that class component or any component so this will take the first priority rather than this this is like only when you don't have the name property when you're calling the class component then this value will be printed but if you're calling the same property name in your class component this thing like uh, at the time of calling the component that property value will be taken the first priority will take the first priority is that clear ha uh, done yeah the yeah, same thing will applicable for functional component as well So in the functional component, you have name and name four. So if I'm calling the functional component, so again in the functional component we have a, i'm calling the functional component with a property name name and the value i'll make it to functional component the value of the name and this name is present in the default props as well so obviously the same concept will applicable for class components as functional components as well so obviously this one will take the priority so when i print this props you won't be getting props example but you will be getting functional component props let's check it yeah when you see name we got the functional component props rather than the props example one and if you you if you have the name see if you if you see you don't have name four over here that is the reason you are getting 6456 but if you have the name 4 over here that value will be taking the priority so right now we have in something some value and so name 4 is matching with the default props in the functional component same for but as i already mentioned the this whenever you are calling the component the, that props will be taking the first priority so this name for will be taking first priority and if you see in the console you should be getting this value not 6456 yeah if you see here if you are not getting 6456 but you are getting the other value which uh, whenever you are like which you have sent when you are calling the component so is that clear like what is the real functionality of the default props hello yeah yeah so i have added the similar example over here let's try it out because uh, the one i told like will clear about will make clear about the functional uh, uh, 
component and the class component regarding the default props. But here I'm calling, I have given an example, which I'm calling the two components as well uh, at a time. So I'm just gonna try this out and check it out. I think by this time we should be getting some idea about like what are props and everything. So yeah, in the app.js, I'm calling the function component and class component. And uh, so there is, there I'm sending zero props, like I'm sending no data even for the function component as, as well as for the class component. Uh, I'm calling the functional component. Inside the functional component, we have a default props over here. Default props name and props example. And we have an alert to show what the value of uh, name. So what's going on in the class component? So in the class component, I have a statement and then I'm call, I'm again calling the functional component with the name property. So I'm calling the same component in this example, like functional component twice. Like in the app.js, I'm calling the functional component with zero, like with zero properties. And in the class component, also I'm calling the functional component, but with the one property. So the same one property, like name property, is matching with the default props of the name. So, so this example will explain you better. Like I'm calling the same component functional component with the zero uh, properties, and inside the class component, I'm calling the functional component with the name, uh, like with one of the property which is exactly matching with the default props of the functional com functional pro component. So over here, there is no property. There is no property at all, not only the default property. So when I'm calling, I'm calling the functional component for the first time, like uh, first I'm calling the functional component. So definitely it's gonna have one component for the functional component that would be name. So this would e explain in better whenever you're calling the same component in the two different ways, like with some properties and with zero properties. So this property would be the default one. So in the app.js, I'm calling the function component for the first time. Let's see whether we got the, yeah, we got, let's, I'm just gonna. So the first time I've got the props example. Why did I get the props example? So I'm calling the function component. So what's there in the function component? Inside the function component, we have an alert, which is printing the props.name. As in the app.js, we are calling the prop function component with the zero properties this value will be taken. The value in the default props will be taken. So name equal to props example. That would be print, that would be printed in our alert. So props example. Okay, so props example is coming. So again, next time we got an alert called functional props. Why did we get this? So in the functional component, we have an alert. And again, in the class component, in the class component, as we are calling the functional component again with one of the prop matching with the name that is functional props. So we are getting the other alert with the functional props. So when we are calling the same property matching with the default props in that uh, any component, not only functional component, class component, that is like just to distinguish between the components, but any component, if you're calling so-and-so component with the property, which is matching with the default props, as you can see over here, you're calling the functional component, the same com, and we are having the name as a property common in your default props, as well as in your uh, calling of the functional component then the calling of the so-and-so component, that property will take the priority. So at this time, the, you're getting, uh, in the, over here, you're getting props.name as functional props rather than this props example. So that is the reason you're getting props example, uh, like uh, functional props rather than props example. If I click on okay, so we got that. First time I'm calling the functional component, 
and then i'm getting the class component and then i'm getting the class component and inside the class component as i call the function component again the value of the prop is uh, functional props and at last we got this functional component so is that clear yeah is that clear okay so this is the last example for this class i request you all of you just to practice this props props concepts like uh, calling the functional like calling the other components with the prop values and calling the uh, like first uh, just try it out just calling the component with no normal props of any type and check it out whether it's working fine with your just try it out with the arrays and calling with the objects integers strings as i already told you so and then if you are if you feel like okay you are if you are comfortable with normal prop values then just come to this default props and try it out calling the And like just declare some two to three, like any number of props as a default props of so and so component, and try calling that so and so component with props, without props, and with default props in it. So then you'll get an idea why what's happening, why is it happening. So I have showed you clearly, but until and unless you try them, you won't get a better idea. So I just told you like I'm call calling the. Functional component over here, so I got the functional component. Let 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 run. Let run. I call the class component, and then functional component. Like yeah, I can uh, I can say that, but but if you try them, you'll get a more idea when you try this a kind of example, some tricky kind of examples like when the default props is getting called. So this will be helpful only when you practice them because uh, this props concept is major, and without this, you can't develop a react application i would say so better just uh, practice this props and yeah that's it for this class so any doubts so any doubts are we good to close this class or you have any doubts and yeah, no doubts sir no doubts we will okay, try fine. Okay, just try it out and check it out, and just let me know if you find any difficulties in trying these examples. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.